Our next Kearney Street poet is T. Tron. Thank you for having us here. It's an honor to be with you, and I thank all of you here to come and um, remember and share and celebrate. My first poem is for my mother. It's called Landing, and I wrote it for today. They said to leave me, three years old and still swatting in the sand, but you could see they wanted a servant more than a daughter. Two American dollars, seven bracelets, a velvet dress the color of a fresh scab. Is this all you need to slip away the exhausting tightness of singular choices? You wake to a heartland winter, and while I dream fists curled, you wade, startled, into the icy drifts. This is your new home, this cold hardness, this dampened, flattened land, this staring silence stripped of tone and resonance. Those who stayed polished their stories. The French reporters in the helicopter with space for one more, and the boat that sank, and the boat that never came, and the boat that left too early, and the cousin who did arrive in time, then crouched, unmoving in the fetid mud, until dawn painted an empty bay. But when I asked for yours, for the colors and songs, flavors and desires that trace back your journey, you look to the left and pretend to forget. 8,000 miles, three names, 37 years. They have passed. Diminishment is its own reward. And the second one comes out of the Postcard Poetry Project, and um, I just made it into a, a longer poem of four parts. And it's about um, sort of remembering um, where we are. And uh, remembering where I am or spring in four movements. Sap lines entangle the tree trunks like a neon spider web. We huddle in the sweet stream of the sugar house, mismatched chairs tilting toward the coals. The lilac's exuberance can wait. For now, we count the hours to amber dark. Standing at the back of his truck, the man haggles with each insistent shopper, bags bulging at the elbows. $10 for the short branches with barely a bud. $15 for the pink-tipped blossoms that will open in time. While the sky is still yellow, we follow the coin-clumped leaves of the watercress, from the catfish pond to the source of the spring. Racing in the rain, our knives slice through wet stems. Our shoes spread heavy with mud, yet still, we carry back more than we can eat. And then the final memory for here we are in California. Poppies open, soft face, excuse me. Poppies open, soft faces tilting westward. The hills huddle close, their shoulders wrapped in emerald velvet, their robes, and the robes flowing, rippling over the sea's jagged edge. Summer's chill, patient, hovers at the horizon. Thank you. Last but not least, we have Trump Lane. All right. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So no racking up here, but beautiful. Um, so the first poem I'm going to read is um, really about sort of retracing history, just um, you know, my family never talked about their journey from Vietnam and how we got here, not until a couple of years ago. So this is about retracing. Craned across space, two eyes symmetrically near, smooth and steadily reflect, whispering warmly, I will patch you. Hello, hello thoughts convert into signals. Exchange emulations just understood, concise. Panic remembered, eternal memories flamed heaven, penetrating a hundred times the exact orbit. This next poem, um, this is for all your mama's mamas and mama's mamas out there, if you know what I mean, and it's called The Gift. But I was not there to say goodbye, 
echo heart. Sword, exhaled hope. Memory locket pocket, salted duck egg, pork congee, taste her home again. Current, once more booms, familiarity wrapped, unscript shackles like slippers, brine soaked badge handed, consoles renewed calluses. I see, I see you. Thank you. <laughs>